As fun as building a new LEGO set is, some have surprisingly frustrating instruction steps that take way too long. Today we'll be exploring LEGO's most tedious, annoying, and downright finger-busting sets. The Taj Mahal is magnificent, but it also contains one of the most tedious steps that I've ever seen in a LEGO set. On page 42 of the instructions, you're told to add six 1x1 one one tiles onto a 2x3 plate to create a checkerboard pattern. By itself, this is easy enough, but the real scary part is what's next. You have to do this 33 times. Yeah, that's a total of 198 tiles placed onto 33 plates, and in total, these pieces make up 11% of the set's 2022 pieces. But it seems that LEGO knew that this might bother some builders, so thankfully they put the colors into separate bags to help out a bit. But you see, this is far from the worst LEGO step. The Jedi Training Diorama is an amazing addition to any display shelf, but there's one step that will have you wishing for some force training of your own. The third bag of the build starts off with step 42, which asks you to add 39 1x1 translucent green plates around the surface to start building the swamp. This isn't too bad, and the instructions are at least pretty clear on where they're supposed to go, but finding these pieces can be a bit of a chore on its own. This set makes copious use of small parts in this same color and uses 1x1 round and square tiles in addition to these plates. Seriously, just take a look at this bag. This is where the real fun begins, because step 43 calls for 100 177 of these green tiles to be placed all around the surface to fill out the bubbling swamp. Thankfully, there's no real confusion about where these pieces need to go, and they're all one color, but it's enough to leave you rubbing your fingers afterward. The obvious question here is, well, why not use larger tiles? And the answer is actually simple, because the end result looks fantastic with these 1x1 tiles, and you simply wouldn't get that detail with larger pieces. However, perhaps the most well-known example of a LEGO instruction with hundreds of pieces is this step from the ship in a bottle set, which calls for 284 blue studs to be unceremoniously dumped into the completed bottle. While this isn't exactly tedious, the number always struck me as oddly specific. Why exactly 284? Well, it turns out that there's actually a very good reason. You see, it seems that the designer had originally called for 300 of these pieces to be included for a nice round number. But there was a small issue with that, because as it turns out, when LEGO makes 1x1 one one round studs, they make them in mold batches of exactly 284. So LEGO's manufacturing department basically said that it would be so much easier for them if the set used 284 so that each set could contain exactly one batch of these parts. Now, LEGO Marvel has many tedious sets, such as the Avengers Tower, which we'll explore later in this video. But first, I want to tell you about Marvel Strike Force, today's sponsor. Immerse yourself into the Marvel Universe and assemble an incredible team of over 200 characters, including iconic characters like Doctor Strange, Iron Man, Captain America, Loki, and so many more of your favorites from the Marvel Marvel. Multiverse. Form your dream Marvel RPG squad, and remember, who you bring to the epic fight battles matter. Pair up the perfect superheroes or supervillains from across the Marvel Universe, and perform combo moves to take out your enemies. You can utilize RPG fight tactics during the 5v5 battles to give you the ultimate power to destroy the greatest villains of the Marvel Universe. You can then confront Ultimus in an epic fight to save the world before Earth falls under his control. Save the world today with Captain Marvel and Miles Morales by downloading this free mobile RPG action game with the link in the description or by scanning this QR code and go immerse yourself in the Marvel Universe. Empower your squad and embark on a heroic journey to save the world. Now back to the video. One of the most tedious building techniques that LEGO loves to include in sets is the construction of chains. Just take a look at the BMW motorcycle set for a relatively tame example. Step 77 requires the assembly of 62 links to form the bike's chain, and that's nowhere near the longest that's ever been called for. The Haunted House might just be my favorite holiday-themed set. It's packed full of ghosts and ghouls, but there's one part of the build that's scarier than anything that goes bump in the night. Step 440 of this massive build is all about building the fully functional elevator and requires a total of 151 LEGO links to be put together. But you see, the longest chain ever required in an official LEGO set though has got to be the amazing Loop Coaster set. 
With just over 3,700 pieces and standing at nearly 2 feet tall, an extra long chain shouldn't be a surprise. On step 452, you'll need to assemble a whopping 254 chain links together to get this machine up and running. Yikes, that's quite annoying. The final result though is more than worth the effort. Luckily, it doesn't take nearly as much time to subscribe to my channel, so as I talk about the next set, go tap that subscribe button. Now, the Lord of the Rings Rivendell set might just be the best looking product that LEGO has ever made. While the majority of this build is a truly enjoyable experience, there's one section of it that made every builder groan, the roof. Starting at step 216 of the third instruction booklet, you'll need to decorate the roof with hundreds of colorful one by one tiles. The first bit requires 53 of them. Step 217 needs another 60 of them. Step 218 calls for another 83. And step 219 finishes things off with another 70. That's 266 meticulously placed pieces in just four steps. And to add insult to injury, the pavilion a few pages later makes you do the same thing again with another 44 tiles being used twice. One really neat thing though about this set is how LEGO tells you to slide a regular 1x10 plate through the gaps to make sure that all the pieces are perfectly lined up. Now, it's no surprise that bigger builds have more repetitive steps, especially larger buildings. Just take a look at the Daily Bugle and you'll immediately realize that you're going to be putting together a lot of windows. Step 40 calls for 40 window pieces to be assembled into 4 groups of 10, which on its own isn't too terrible, but this is a very tall building with several floors and each of them has its own windows. In total, you'll get to put these pieces together the exact same way, 22 times throughout the entire build. Overall, this set comes with 347 of these pieces. That's nearly 10% of the entire build. But just down the street from the Daily Bugle though, there's another set with somehow even more windows. The Avengers Tower. The first thing that jumps out are the blue windows that run the entire height of the building. Overall, there are about 100 of them, but that isn't really the problem. Throughout the entire build, you'll have to assemble a finger-busting 269 of these frames with just as many of these panes of glass. Luckily, it's never more than a few dozen at a time, but even that is an absolute chore. Speaking of which, if you can think of any other tedious LEGO instructions, let me know in the comments and you may be featured in a future video. But you see, on the topic of particularly large sets, the LEGO Eiffel Tower is the largest set ever released at just under 4 feet tall. While the final build is absolutely stunning, the building experience has been described by many as boring and incredibly repetitive. I mean, just take a look at this. With 10,000 one pieces, nobody expected this to be a quick or easy build, but the first 18 bags are just used to construct the base, and from there it only gets worse. Once you get to the second instruction book, you'll start to build the actual tower, and the process is, well, repetitive to say the least. Bags 19 through 32 are used to build the four main supports of the tower and building, and each of these supports follow the exact same steps. Well, almost. The first two follow one way and take up the first four bags, while the remaining two are built in a mirror image. This process is repeated throughout the entire build, meaning that you'll be building nearly every part of this four times in a row. It's just the same pattern over and over again until you finally finish it up. While some people do enjoy the zen of repetition, I prefer a little more variety in my builds. But you see, it doesn't stop there at all. I mean, just check out this daunting page within the LEGO Speed Champions Mercedes set. I hope you enjoy lining up a bunch of tedious stickers because you'll need to apply 10 of them just in this one step. But this set is even worse. Check out step 242 to see one of the most tedious LEGO steps and look at this one later on in the build. Yikes, that's a lot of stickers. But perhaps the most tedious set of all time is also the largest LEGO set ever made. The world map has a higher part count than any other set released. However, on an absolute size scale, the Eiffel Tower and Titanic sets are actually larger builds, despite having fewer pieces. Why? Well, of the world map's 11,695 pieces, 11,130 of them are simply round one by one elements, mostly tiles, but among those, 3,064 are round white studs. 
Yeah, this set has more 1x1 round studs than most LEGO sets have parts. Putting all of those small parts onto the 40 16x16 16 16 LEGO art plates will take you anywhere from 15 to 20 hours by most accounts and leave your hands bent, broken, and tired afterwards. However, LEGO has a lot more weird instruction steps. Click this video to see them, and don't forget to tap that subscribe button for more LEGO videos.